there is a very very old saying in hindi and it is called as jo dikhta hai wahi bikta hai well whatever is visible that only gets sold that's the exact translation of this hindi saying but this phrase has a very important meaning for all the graduates post graduates in the biotech pharma and chemical sciences industry so today i'm going to dive down deeper into this one question how to add more value to your career by adding more value to your resume now in this video i'm not going to tell you all those things that you should do this you should do that i'm just going to tell you how you can present a weak resume also in the strong manner so that you will get a job faster well you have to know this fact that getting a job also is a skill okay i know so many people they they like they, if they leave a job the next job they'll get within a day while others struggle for 2 to 3 3 months and they don't get in the biotech pharma and chemical sciences industry so how would they pull off this is a trick and it's a nice trick it's a neat neat trick which i have seen people playing and uh, very less uh, experienced people like me can catch that okay this is a trick they are playing not real but yeah it works okay whatever i'm going to tell you it works and it's not something illegal you're doing it's something natural which you should be doing so to start with like i said jo dikhta hai wo bikta hai so it is a very important thing to strengthen your resume so nobody can deny that okay you have to do the certification you have to do the okay that's there but how should you present your resume that also matter you know you must have seen that the five star chefs will present the food in a beautiful way right same way you have to present your resume in a delicious way so so that the employer the moment he looks at the cv the perceived value increases he should feel that okay there is so much so many things he has done okay this person is very knowledgeable okay this person must be shortlisted that's the kind of feeling he should get right so to start with always showcase your expertise as keywords in the beginning of your cv or resume that is something like okay it's like a pickle in the plate you cannot avoid it it's the tastiest part that's the pickle right so the same with the no, the skill set as keywords at the top just below your name should be there what could be the, your, those skill set now anything any technique you know any interpersonal skills you know any transferable skills you know anything you have done so those skill set those keywords can be mentioned right like experienced leader 26 years in uh, this industry or uh, don't mention fresher as a keyword of course but yeah applied scientist these are these are the nice keywords like hplc tcmc so all these keywords will be helpful now the second thing is the moment you do this you will stand out of the crowd and once you stand out of the crowd it is easier for you to get the shortlisting part done right because see eventually before they actually call you they are going to shortlist right so they're going to compare that is where you get rejected most of the times right and if once you've got the interview call how to take up the interview we'll cover in the next uh, probably sequel but for now you have to stand out of the crowd so the keywords should be well thought out like this keyword will it attract this employer it's not that okay you stuff 365 keywords in um, the page no hardly 7 to 10 maximum 15 that's the worst case okay 7 to 10 that's all but those 7 to 10 keywords should define you end to end okay so that's very important in the next thing will be securing career advancement now what does it mean you have to make sure that it is well crafted resume you have to make sure that you have shown the career ladder in this right way like what you did after that what you did so in a correct chronological order so after your name then the academic qualification probably and then comes the experience now if you, even if you don't have experience you can make it up now don't lie don't hide but make it up like okay what trainings you did from which date to which date what you did what did you learn all that you can include so that is why so you can showcase your career advancement right from your graduation post graduation trainings internship shorthand online offline certification everything you can do it in a chronological order so that the hr should not feel that you were just sitting at home enjoying instead you have really worked hard for your career that gives you a very very good impression on your cv so that's the a uh, point under importance of a strong resume in the industry now let's look at the key components of your resume so you, there should be a summary statement so below below the skill set you will write the summary statement now in the summary statement don't mention to get a responsible position in a fast growing company 
people hate that that's generic right the summary statement should be a biotech uh, engineer experienced in crispr so whatever is the skill looking forward to contribute to a organization where skills are valued something like that right so that's where st summary statement so it should summarize your entire thing so already skills are summarized you now the sentence has to summarize you right next relevant experience and relevant skills whether you are a fresher or experienced person you have to showcase it in the right way make it bold okay make it outstand don't just write the date so that the hr has to calculate how many years mention worked on this project five years worked on this project three years ten months so you have to do it in such a way that the hr by just looking at your cv he gets an idea okay how many years of you know combined experience he has and also mention the years also now if there is a gap year you have to remember those gap years must be explained in the right way like why did you do it what was the need what did you do during that time so you have to mention i just hired a girl uh, in our company so she had a career break of like 3 years okay after her masters but still i took her because she could explain it she could explain it in a very honest manner that those three years my mother had a stroke and i was taking care of her so that's why i could not uh, you know immediately join the industry so now i'm ready so we, you know when you explain it in the right way and you produce that you produce a proof of that people are bound to agree to you and they they'll you know actually accept your honesty and appreciate that right now the certifications right you have to know this uh, certification adds value right whether it is offline or online doesn't matter what you learned is mat matters but yeah certification matters so always carry a portfolio of files of a file where you have all these certificates filed in right uh, even if it's a you know a virtual one take a print out and put in no no problem and laminate it so what happens now is when the employer is going to see your cv he may seek uh, more information so i was just talking to this girl last week so i really got interested in her profile i said are you carrying your certificates she said yes so she was not just carrying her academic certificate she was carrying all these workshop workshop and uh, you know certification certificates also and many were from biotechnic also so then i said okay that, that's really impressive impressive so yeah that's where it comes you have to carry your certificates also right and please laminate your certificates because in travel it will get torn right so certificates add a lot of value the moment your employer becomes interested in your profile immediately present the certificate they will definitely hire you because now they don't need to wait for you to send the scanned copy of certificate you have it right there and they will hire you so that's something which i insist now the next thing is highlighting achievement and impact so don't just write that i worked in biocon this to this and learned this no highlight the achievements right i worked there i did this i achieved this uh, these were the awards i received these were the things i did so highlight your achievements and now the next is impact what impact you could create on the team which could be like i contributed in this project and uh, uh, was selected as this and then the impact was because of my innovation the project succeeded so create a impact column also probably you know you should have a table where you can have four columns one is the name of the company the next can be the years when you worked duration skill set learned and then the next column can be your achievements and the next column can be your impact created this way if you create a table people love reading a table you should know this that if you instead of you know creating a paragraph wise experience if you just create a table in your cv and it's very simple in a word document and just write all this whatever i just said it will help you showcase your achievement faster the biotech industry the chemical industry the pharma industry all of them love this right so you have to do this right so it's like okay it's just by looking at the table i got all the things which i wanted to know right it's like a 360 degree i know you now so that's where and uh, you know they can learn about you quicker so you have to make sure that you add that so quantifying your accomplishment is also important now suppose you worked in a particular company and uh, or even if you did the training it does, doesn't need to be a company it, you did a training or you did a workshop or you just worked under somebody for free you can quantify like after doing this uh, now i am a crispr expert and i can independently perform experiment 80% of the times with 20% of guidance so you quantify right when you quantify that i have learned hplc and i now know uh, this so when you quantify it is easier 
this is the percentage of my learning right now i know this much at this level so my i would rate myself 8 out of 10 on the expertise level for hplc things like that right so demonstrate your contribution also like i said the impact so how would you do that show your contribution like i did this and these were the outcome so many of you write like okay i worked here that's all i worked here that's all no what did you learn right what was the impact created what did you contribute what did you get out of it what was the job description in one line all that you should include because that will interest the next employer that will increase the value of your cv in front of him okay now coming to the technical skills so technical skills is very important as i have always said so even though you have it you're not showcasing it that's mistake even if you have it you're not showcasing in the right font mistake if you are not showcasing in the right font size, mistake. Now, you have to always hi highlight the relevant technical skill set. For example, if the company is hiring a person who is an expert in HPLC, your ex expertise in uh, something else is not going to help. So, probably you should ex showcase that in bold that, okay, I, had, I do have that. In fact, in your cover letter also, you should mention. It's like, a, you know, your, your CV is like a... a Advertisement. Have you seen a poster of a movie, right? Or a trailer of a movie? In that movie trailer or a poster, they'll show you, show you everything, right? Same way. You have to showcase in such a way that the person concerned gets uh, interested and he definitely buys you their next employee. Now coming to the transferable skills. Now there are various uh, transferable skills like uh, communication skills, interpersonal skills, collaboration skills, problem solving skills, critical thinking skills so basically even i will ask questions related to these four to five transferable skills that what did you acquire what did you learn especially for freshers i definitely ask these questions because they are fresh out of college they will not have experience of this so if somebody has experience this i will definitely hire so keep that in mind communication collaboration problem solving skills and critical thinking skills you can mention these as your experience like I did a critical thinking thing in this particular job. If you, even if you're a fresher, you must have done something in your lab, in your college, in your uh, with your classmates, which required some kind of problem solving, and you did it. So that's where this comes into picture. Again, this increases your value. But then you will be like, sir, that, don't you think it will make my resume at ten pages? No, you can fit all of this in two two pages, one to two pages. That's all. Don't go beyond two pages. Two pages is more than sufficient. Front and back, you can print or just have two pages. That's all. But this is very, very important. One thing I've always uh, advised all my uh, students at Biotechnica, Rasaynica and all the other brands which we have is you have to tailor make your resume. For example, if you're applying in Biotechnica, you should know why you're applying what I, I require. If you're applying in Rasaynica, there can be a different requirement. If you're applying in Biocon, there can be a different requirement. If you are uh, you know, applying in uh, Lupin, there can be a different uh, requirement. If you're applying in some other pharma or chemistry company, there can be other requirements. So analyze the job requirement. Use the required job skill set as your keyword if you have it and highlight that and customize your resume, customize your cover letter according to the job description and personalize your application to the grassroots level. Don't copy paste whatever you send to the previous employer. You will just, just do that. See, your prospective employer, the HR, he is not knowing that you apply 10 places, right? He just wants you to apply to them, right? So what do you do? Customize according to him and he is bound to follow. In fact, you can use a lot of AI tools nowadays to customize your CV and forwarding letter according to the requirements of the job description, if that is possible. The final tips and advice to all the freshers, all the Biotechnica and Rasaynica followers is format and layout is important. Please follow a professional format and layout. Please always submit your uh, CV in PDF format, no Word document. Please always make sure it is visually appealing. Pos if possible, place your photograph and contact number and email ID very, very clearly. Proofread and edit. There should not be any spelling mistake. One single spelling mistake can be a big turn off. And always continuous improvement and updating your knowledge is required because as long as you dikhta hai, wo dikhta hai, but you know, 10 years from today, your knowledge of today will be outdated. So you have to constantly learn, constantly update and constantly embed all that knowledge and learnings in your CV. That's all you have to do. 
and you will be able to grab jobs and opportunities faster. Well, uh, this reminds me of a very important thing that at Biotechnica and Rasainica, we have launched the Crickstar Scholarship. Under this, we are going to provide placements, job placements also. If you have not applied, the link is in the description. So that's all for today. And uh, thank you so much for watching. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining and keep questioning me because I love questions and I will answer them soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.